Hey there guys, welcome back to my blind playthrough of Ghostwire Tokyo. And that previous mission involving the dragon was very tough. Very, very tough. All because I wasn't really using my resources intelligently, and also because the enemies were putting quite a lot of pressure on me. And oh my god, there is a lamentation right over there. I keep running out of ether. Whoa! Jesus Christ! Well, at least that's one way to force it out of the sky. So wait, let me just actually verify that these prayers work. I wish for world peace? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> it's so funny, these little uh, interactions you can get into when you just pray for certain strange things, but praying for world peace? Who wouldn't want to pray for world peace, especially with the state of our world today? And <laughs> the war in Ukraine. I'm finding so many of these uh, wind Jesus statues, but I don't feel like they're helping out much. Because the enemies are still taking a beating. Okay, so it looks like this is either Ed or Rinko. I think most likely it's Ed. Nope, never mind. なんだよ、突然。調べてほしい場所があるの。戦いには関係ないことかもしれない。けど、余計な時間はないぜ。そうね。で、場所はどこなんだ。いいのか。俺は断りたいが、秋とが断らないだろうな。経験の言う通りです
I haven't heard this music before. Oh. oh, 429 Street. A large iconic street extending from Shibuya's towering 429 building. The hippest stores and cafes line the pavement, making it a major hub for emerging trends. <laughs> Why did they equip the bow just then? Oh, what the hell? What's that? What is that? Is that what I'm looking for? Hey, you, stop right there! What the hell is that? Holy fucking shit! Oh god. Oh! Uh, it slows my movement. Oh my god. Get away! Get away! Shit! Run! Run for it! Come on! Go! Go! I thought that was a yokai, but it's a freaking enemy! Let's see how you like fire. Nah, it's not doing anything. I think I'm fucked. I think I'm seriously fucked right here. I gotta lose this guy. He's losing me. Okay. What the fuck is that? Some kind of frost visitor. I don't think I have the resources to deal with that guy. Unless I use some of my talismans. Do stun talismans work against this guy? That is... Uh, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. Shit! Where's the exposure talisman? He keeps backing away because he's not supposed to be in this designated area. Oh no. Oh shit, he's coming, he's coming. <sighs> yeah, he's, he's programmed to do that and then he has to close the distance to me. Oh shit. Oh, sh that's an attack? God damn it. God, I need to get above him or something. That attack is deadly. Yeah, I think I'm out of my league here. I think I'm definitely out of my league. There is no way I'm taking this guy out. His core is exposing, I think. Yeah, his core is exposing. Yeah, but he can't get me up here, which is good. I'm running low on resources, though. I might need to use the bow here. It's just Akita will not aim the bow because I'm aiming into a wall. Oh, shit! I need to get up higher, that's too dangerous. He's losing me. Oh my god, he's finally dead. What the fuck is that thing? A Shiromuku? A type of visitor born from feelings of profound envy and resentment. They harbor a seemingly bottomless well of corrupted power. Their outfits resemble traditional wedding dresses worn in ancient Japan. Jesus fucking Christ. You do not want to deal with that enemy. That enemy is a... Is, just tanks all your hits and freezes you. God, just from its appearance, I thought it was a yokai. <laughs> like some kind of unique activity, like the, um... Like those, uh, hyaki, uh, whatever they're called. The ones that transport you to that realm and you have to fight all those visitors. I thought it was something like that. But that was straight up creepy. Really creepy. And really intimidating. But the only way to fight that enemy is to get above it, because it has a lot of trouble getting to you, and you can use a lot of cover to your advantage. It's just when Akito keeps on putting his bow away because he aims into a wall, that's really where that kind of mechanic just doesn't make any sense, because you should be prepping it. 
You're not gonna fire into the wall, uh, Tango Gameworks. Why would you disable the ability to prep our bow and then fire it? Yeah, I need to restock on everything. That enemy took such a beating. Damn. There's so many different enemies in this game. Oh, it's you. Oh no. Get that shit out of here. Oh, come on! Damn it! That was too easy. That was way too easy. Blood and Succession, a recording left behind by Ed, wherein he discusses Erica. そういうデータは何一つないと答えたよ。実際はデータが少なすぎてわからないだけなんだけどね。エリカはその答えに納得していないようだったよ。君が彼女を戦いに参加させなかったのは間違いだったのかもしれない。今の状況を考えると総判断
And I know enemies like uh, the Heresy, they were born from a subject who drowned during testing. But then you have uh, other ones like uh, Quell, for instance, or the Keeper, that are based upon Rubik's manifestations, or like Rubik's emotions. Like, they're manifestations of Rubik's consciousness. His desires, basically. So I don't know uh, which is the actual case with these visitors. Alright, she's down. Oh, she's coming. Got to charge by attack. Yeah, just pelt her with all the wind you've got, then use fire. Just make sure you're stocked up on it as well. All right, she's down, but I'm gonna lose her instead. Cause she's gonna be able to get to me now. Yeah, she's coming. But most likely she's gonna be forced to stay on the ground when she loses me. That was intimidating just then. But she's down. Yeah, she knows where you are for a bit until the uh, social status icon goes back to uh, yellow. Ah, oh, there's another Lamentation over there. Damn it. You notice how the Lamentations are used a lot more than the Shine Dancers? I think that goes to show that they have a little bit more respect for their uh, Shine Dancers than, the f than these uh, enemies. Because they know that... In order to complement the uh, scariness of the Shine Dancer, the Shine Dancers have to appear less often to really catch the player by surprise and really build that intimidation. Like They reserve the scarier enemies for less encounters to really build that dread in the player in knowing that potentially they might have to deal with a Shine Dancer, and it's pretty clever. Yeah, this is a large shrine. Nekomata's Diary? Wish I could afford some nether silver vine, or even just some nether catnip. Guess I'd better get my sails up. Oh, good. Oh, but it only gives you some. Okay, so it's not a full restore. It's probably only with the 500, uh, Mecha, that you get a full restore. Hm. Why haven't you animals disappeared? That's the real question you should be asking. I still don't know why the animals are resistant to the fog's influence. Oh, oh another hide- Oh my god, it's another hide-and-seek one! Is that building off the previous one? And I still haven't found any tanuki. <laughs> hey, it's Yosuke! Oh wow, so we can, we can uh, do side missions again for the same guy as we already knew previously with that diamond donor. So not only do we have individual side missions, but we also have branching side missions building off the previous one. We just did Yosuke's side mission earlier, but now we're doing it again. This game is once again delivering on the side missions. Almost makes me wonder if uh, Yosuke is, is connected to the kid's disappearances. I mean, I originally thought it was rumors, but... It might not be. And also, at the time, I'm just like, it, is it really gonna end right there? <laughs> I guess I was proven wrong, because we're doing it again. Wait. Oh, we have more wishes we can do! Hold on. No, I'm already full on uh, SP, but let me see if I can... Wait, it changed! Now it's gone now, so... It looks like if you 
repeatedly access these prayer boxes, you lose out on those joke wishes. Not that it matters. I still don't know what this is for. I wish I could find what I'm looking for. Hmm. But let me just recover my health. Oh, it just spawns a bunch of items. Interesting how Yosuke hasn't passed on into the afterlife. A Haniwa, earthenware statues and figures produced during Japan's Kofun period. Oh, I've heard of the Kofun period. I've heard about it from uh, Tomb Raider. The Tomb Raider 2013 reboot, which, which is my favorite Tomb Raider game by far. I need to do a walkthrough of that game eventually, just to get my thoughts out on that, because I love that game. And I love it way more than Rise of the Tomb Raider and Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Shadow of the Tomb Raider is, the, is one of the worst games I've ever played. Rise of the Tomb Raider was okay, but... The 2013 reboot of Tomb Raider, my favorite Tomb Raider game by far. It's the one that works really well. It's the one that has systems that work pretty well. It's the one that isn't so focused on the open world design. It's the one that doesn't have um, like such an expansive array of, of skills and abilities. So it doesn't come across as a little too absurd. But earthenware statues and figures reminds me a lot of um, Resident Evil Code Veronica. With the earthenware vases. So the Kofun period was roughly uh, 200 to 500? So, CE. In the early Kofun period, Haniwa came in cylindrical shapes. However, in the late Kofun period, there were many made in the shape of things, such as humans and horses. Though predominantly wrought from clay, there are examples made from stone and wooden as well. Why is it saying wooden? It should be wood. During the Kofun period, eponymous Kofun burial mounds dedicated to the ancient ruling class were made in abundance. Okay, so that's what Kofun means. Around the sites of these mounds, numerous Haniwa depicting things such as people and houses can be found, offering valuable insight into the religious practices and ways of living of Japanese society in those times. I have no clue where he is. Oh, there's another prayer box over here. Oh! Well, I found him. But where is he? Oh, he's in there. Okay. So, what does this do? I have no idea what that does. It's locked. Hey, who are you? Oh, it's a priest. Hm, what's this? Main hall yearly calendar of events. Hmm. I guess, uh, it's up there, on the roof. The question is, how am I supposed to get up? Oh, from here. There it is. Not sure why you need to have a database entry for the key items, but it's good to have nonetheless. Because Evil Within 2 did that as well. And so did uh, Evil Within 1. He's gone? What kind of a game is this? KK's had enough. It'll be a while before he gets to the main story, but at least it gives me time to ponder on a, a bunch of questions that I have about this game. And plus it'll give me the chance to discuss uh, certain tangents as well, when I feel the need to discuss them. Oh, Mother Nochi. The Mother Nochi vanishings. Oh crap, the, why are there two forlorn? I guess they were expecting you to uh, go over here rather than going down this path. 
Hmm. Oh, they broke your Kubi. Huh. Drunkard's Alley? This area features a stark contrast between modern office buildings and worn down old pubs. The variety of pubs is what makes the place really special, though. From traditional establishments serving old standbys like Odin and Yakitori to high class wine bars, there's something for everyone here. A tanuki statue, a type of porcelain statue often placed in front of shops to attract good luck. Hmm. Their big bellies are thought to bring financial fortune. I've heard of that, yeah, we, we heard about that before. In Japanese, the word tanuki can also be written with an alternate set of characters whose combination is said to remove unwanted foul influences. So it's nice that they mentioned the whole idea of big stomachs uh, thought to bring uh, financial fortune, because we heard about this before in some other document and in some other side mission. Nice that the game is rewarding me for uh, remembering all that. <laughs> Not too sure why I even bothered, but it's okay. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna buy that ability. I'm gonna buy the uh, ability to summon a Tengu, just to see what it does. So, how does that work? Oh, okay. Like that. So if you hold L2 near the ledge of a building, a Tengu just spawns out of thin air. Oh, finally, we got a, uh, a fire Jisoo statue. Doesn't seem to be working right now. Probably only for certain buildings. Yeah, like this one. Yeah, you don't have to wait around for a Tengu so much. Oh, good. This will make traversal uh, a lot more viable now. I must have to get really close for the grapple to kick in. Hmm. Oh, it's maybe because there's fog nearby. I knew it. I knew we'd get a call. Awesome. Yeah, this grapple ability isn't the best right now. Yeah, it only seems to work on certain buildings, it's just you gotta know which one it is. Yeah, like this one. Oh, I know exactly what this is. Uh-oh. Oh, they're not losing me, this is odd. I lost him before in the previous uh, mission. Wonder why it's so different now. What the hell? What just happened? Ah, they respawned back at that uh, previous area. I keep accidentally equipping the wrong thing. There we go. Ow! Oh shit! God damn it! This is grueling. Nice. For once I actually parried that. There's no benefit to it. That got me? That's that's insane. Oh come on! Oh great. Oh. I need to wire in, there's too many of them.
My inputs keep dropping again for the wind. Ow! God damn it! God damn it! That was a pain in the ass. <laughs> Uh, goodbye, vibrant color. Now I've got to favor this pale color.